Managing bookmarks is one of the big problems for internet users, so I'd like to persuade you to use social bookmarking. Delicious was the first social bookmarking uh, website, but there are lots of them and they're all free. And I'm going to talk about Digo, which has some special features. So here's how it works. I've found a site that I want to bookmark. I've already installed a toolbar from Digo, so I can click here to go and bookmark it, but I uh, right click is another way of doing it and so that shows the uh, the bookmarking tool and up pops a little window where you record some details about the site and so it's very useful if you put in tags now I've already um, used the tag mobile learning and I can choose a, a, others and as many as I like and I can make them peculiar to me they don't have to be uh, special terms and the tags will then allow me to locate the bookmark later on uh, once I've got hundreds of them. Then I can put in a little description. You don't have to do these things but it, it helps a lot in the long run if you uh, spend a, uh, a minute or so putting some information down which indicates why you've recorded this uh, place or why you've recorded this bookmark. So now I can go to Digo and look at all my bookmarks and I'll see up the top the bookmark that I've just recorded with the notes and the tags and below it are the other bookmarks I've added recently. But over on the right is the interesting bit where here is a tag cloud of all my most popular tags and then I can look at the tag list in different ways and this shows that I've got certain favourites and it's important not to add too many tags. Remember I use mobile learning so if I click here this will take me to the other bookmarks that have that same tag and that's the whole point of the tags. They're great for locating materials and you can use multiple tags in searches and you can look at the tags in different ways and you can edit them and modifying them, modify them on the go. You can also do a general search through all of your Digo uh, bookmarks and information and that takes me to uh, this search of three things and then below my bookmarks that include those terms, there's everybody else's and that takes us into the social part of social bookmarking. You can use social bookmarking privately but there's a whole body of information and contacts and uh, connections you can make if you wish to. And so in the Friends I've got a, a few people I um, keep in touch with via Digo and uh, down here is uh, Trudy who's a colleague of mine and I uh, go to Trudy's page and I can look at all of her bookmarks and tags, if she's made them public that is. When recording a bookmark you can add it to a group that you have joined or which you have created yourselves and uh, Trudy has created this group and I belong to it for a small group we work with and any of us can search within this group. These are only a few of the features of Digo but here is one that is really quite special. It is the ability to go to a website and to add annotations to it which are viewable by members of Digo or to groups within Digo. So I've picked out this little quotation which I want to highlight. I can then click on that and add a sticky note. I can then add a, a comment, uh, make it private or to a particular group and here I'm adding it to a, uh, the group that I referred to earlier and I can add this annotation which people from that particular group will be able to view and that gives a whole new dimension of uh, turning the web into a, a personal space and that's what social bookmarking is all about and of course it's all on the web so you can access it from anywhere